Well, I grew up in Wimberley, Texas, which is um, right outside of Austin in central Texas. And so naturally that's a very musical city, uh, Austin is. Um, but I, I really, my parents are big music lovers and so music was kind of just always around. I remember singing my whole life. It was just something I always did from the time that I was a little, little baby. And, um, and I, I guess I started playing the mandolin when I was about 10 years old and fell in love with the instrument. Started listening to Tim O'Brien, who was a big favorite of the festival. Um, Gillian Welch, Nickel Creek, Chris Thiele was a huge early influence. Um, I would say all those people were, were big reasons why I fell in love with acoustic, folk, bluegrass music, um, and eventually wanted to start writing my own music and performing as well. I would say that handmade music to me is music that, you know, comes from a genuine place. I think especially having grown up within a very strong tradition like bluegrass, um, you know, I think, I think that having a foundation in a tradition is important in terms of knowing the history of where you come from. Not only musically, I think it's important as people to kind of know that as well. Know, know your history and know where you come from. Um, but, but in music, that's what I think of it as. It, it comes knowing your roots and um, absorbing that, studying it, and then eventually kind of making it your own um, with the tools that you have and, you know, just being honest. I, th I think that the way the world is these days, you know, audiences and, and music lovers are kind of longing for something that feels real. Uh, so that, that's why this festival is so great, because it, it is based around handmade music, so it feels very, very genuine. Yeah, so Undercurrent is my most recent album, it's my fourth record, and it's definitely different than my previous three, I would say just in the sense that it's a little more stripped down than the other three. Um, you know, being so young, going in, I was... 17 when I started recording my first record, 16 when I signed the record deal. So I was very young. I was, you know, figuring it out in the studio, recording studio for the first time. Um, and I think my process working with this guy, Gary Pachosa, who I've co-produced in all my albums with, and he's engineered all of them, um, kind of our process was to go in with my part that I would um, sing and play and you know oftentimes that's how I would write the song and then feel sort of boundless in terms of what we could add on to it and I think that was a real great aspect of the first few records is having all these amazing guests come in musical heroes and kind of actually getting to learn from them in the process of recording my own record by watching them in the studio um, but because of that process a lot of the songs became very lush kind of dense recordings and so I think with these songs on Undercurrent um, I just playing them for family and friends sometimes the feedback would be like that's how we want to hear it just it doesn't need a bunch of other stuff going on you know just the the raw performance of it and so it's the first time that I'd ever recorded anything that's just vocal and, and what I'm playing it's there's four tracks that are just me and a guitar this festival, it's definitely grown a lot since the last time I was here, six years ago, but um, it seems to have still maintained, you know, the, the musical aspects that were so special about it when I came in 2011. Um, just, you know, like a, like a carefully curated lineup, you know, that, that you can tell thought goes into it and, and that care, people care. Um, and I think the listeners care. I had so many people come up to me today after the show saying that they were here in 2011 and I think that says the most about a, a music festival and it's you know it's goodness is when you have people who just want to come back year after year so you know and and it's rare I, I think it's actually rare I, I do go to a lot of music festivals and there's there's a handful that are as special as this one you know. See? 
keeps me marching on.